hold it back your first win here at Seekonk Speedway and uh, just a masterful job all day here today for you. Yeah, it's, um, you know, from the beginning, uh, we were pretty quick in practice. Uh, we got the fast time um, we were competing with Josh for, and then in the race we ended up competing with him again. We were lucky to come out with the win with a couple of fortunate cautions. And, that was it. I mean, I nailed the restarts. Uh, I didn't really do that last week, which is what cost us the race. But um, this week, it was, uh, I kind of felt the pressure. And, you know, I, instead of breaking under the pressure, I made the most of it. And we were lucky to come out on top. Even though you had the lead, how stressful is it when you had that string of debris cautions where you had a good restart and had to keep trying and replicate that every time? Yeah, I mean, it was tough because all it takes for me to mess up on one restart, and I know I got tough guys all around me. Capitalize. Um, so you know, it was important to execute on those restarts, and uh, I was happy to do that. Uh, it all seemed to work out. Both you and Josh were extremely fast uh, tonight, and just you guys had a good, clean battle. Was there uh, just a matter of who was able to get the lead at a certain point was going to be able to pull away, or did you feel there was an advantage there? Yeah, I feel that like with a lot of these Seacon races, is that um, whoever gets out front first usually wins because I mean we are so close to you, but. I thought he was faster than me in the beginning of the race, absolutely. And um, I tried to do my best just to keep him behind me, but you know, he was going to the top, he was going to the low, and it was, it was tough to, to hold him off. And that uh, the caution came out just at the right time for me to start on the pin again. And then, uh, then you know, we never really had any, I didn't have to look back, I just had to try and protect as much as possible. Some of the bad luck and other opportunities that you didn't get before you got the win tonight, so that's a huge confidence boost to be able, like you said, execute under pressure. Yeah. Um, does this change your outlook now that you've got the win in hand the rest of the year? Um, you know, I show up to the track every week thinking that I can win, whether it be my first one or any ones after that. Um, I'm going to come to the track next week with the same attitude. Uh, we just look to be the best in practice, in the time trials, in the race, and. Um, as far as confidence, um, I feel that you've had the car, so it's just me adapting to the car, and uh, I've had the confidence this year. I just uh, I've just tried to avoid bad luck, and you know I create my own luck a lot of times, and you know, I've made mistakes, and uh, tonight it just, just came together, and that's it. But speaking of adapting, you're coming from light modified, so it's not the typical transition that other people have to drive. You had a much bigger race car, high horsepower compared to these short wheelbase cars. Yeah, um, I mean, it's totally different to drive, and a lot of people ask me that, what's the difference is, and the truth is, is that nothing's really the same. I mean, two race cars, but that's about as much as they are similar. Uh, legend cars are just moving your hands constantly, and um, I don't know, I mean, I love both divisions. Uh, right now, I'm loving the Legends a little extra, but uh, yeah, they're challenging to drive, but they're a lot of fun. Who are some of the people and sponsors that make your season possible? Uh, the people that helped us a ton are my mom, my dad, Amy, Pop, um, so my family, Uncle Tom, and then uh, Rob Patelli from Rat Racing, give us a great setup for the the week out. Um, a lot of races are won and lost in the shop, and you know, I feel that we work a lot, and it, it finally paid off. As far as sponsors, I like to thank Mohawk Northeast, Central Connecticut Cable, uh, Valvoline Instant Oil Change, uh, Service Champ, Rainex, Arbitel Convenience Stores, and um, Craig Shine Auto Detailing, which is my father, but he's a big contributor to our race program. And this year you've been much more competitive. Has that just been a matter of the whole package coming together this year where it's been such a drastic change? Yeah, I mean, we've uh, struggled in the past with myself making mistakes, you know, not having a car that like, I can fit with because um, I just. I just had a lot of bad luck. I fixed a lot of race cars, and you know this. Uh, I feel like this year, we definitely, right out of the gate, we came out with a fast piece. Um, did a lot of work over the winter, and it's um, in every week we're spending a lot of hours in the garage, and um, that's really it. I mean, we just had a better, better package from myself maturing, car getting better. Um, better feedback, communication between me and the crew chief, my father, and yeah. How surprising was it? I know family and crew are a big part of supporting any driver's efforts, but your mother to make the run down the racetrack to meet you when you stopped the car. Oh yeah, I know this is a big deal to uh, my family and I. We've been waiting for this for a uh, 
pretty good amount of time. I have finished before this race. I finished second, third, fourth. Finished everywhere but first, and now I can finally say that we have we've got that elusive win that you know has haunted us for a while. And um, you know it means a lot to my family as much as it means to me. So I mean, it's just a big deal for all of us. It's a great ride home. Certainly. And any other races you might be going to beyond Seekonk the rest of the year? Um, I don't know. We look to travel. Um, I do have a second car that we're trying to build. So, I mean, this car is really dialed in, I think, for Seekonk. And, you know, we don't want to risk that going anywhere else. And, uh, to be honest, it's kind of hard for us to get off to be able to go to another race on, like, a Saturday. But uh, we definitely want to try and get to some other places. I know that this weekend is quite mountain that we can't make, but one of the Bull Ring Bash races would be fun, uh, along with any of the other tracks up in New Hampshire. Um, and, uh, I would like to go more places, but I don't know. I know that we're going to run the rest of the season. Here, You've got quite a distance to go to any of these racetracks, so yeah. to go to White Star, White Mountain, wherever you might end up racing, it makes it worthwhile when your program's running a lot better to be competitive when you get there. Oh, absolutely. Um, I think that when you finally get quick somewhere, you can get quick anywhere. I think that we can adapt well to other tracks. I felt we adapted well to uh, Hudson. I mean, we made the wrong adjustment before the race that affected the car and myself. Um, but, you know, leading up to that, I thought we were fairly quick. We were right with the top guys. And, you know, I think that we can go anywhere and be a, a top guy. Um, I have a lot of confidence in our program, a lot of confidence in myself. And I think that, uh, yeah, we can go anywhere and compete. Um, this is a tough track to race at, just to race the track itself as well, along with other competitors like Josh and Bennett. These guys, these other guys can go anywhere and they can win. They see it all the time. So um, I know that if I can compete with those guys here, I can, I can probably compete with them anywhere else on a different surface. And you have some guys that made the track from Waterford and yourself have experience there. Yeah. How big of it is an adjustment to come to a track like this where you just run laps and setup wise you could argue the tracks could be a little similar but they drive completely differently oh yeah they're completely different i know that you go around here and it's an, it's an asphalt track but the right rear is just kicked out the whole time and, you know i feel like that waterford that would be more comparable to a mod because i feel like you're smoother at waterford and sometimes you have a second groove mm -hmm. here i mean it's tough to get the second groove um and I just feel like this track itself, just if you were to go off at 15 laps, it's hard to race this track and be at the top, like it going into the threes and we've chipped into a couple of twos this year and you're just up on the wheel the entire time. But I know that 25 laps, I was just, I was trying to drive as hard as I can because I can't slip up because there's so many other guys that can capitalize on my mistake. And it's so easy to make mistakes, especially at this racetrack. Anything you want to add? Um, no, just that this is, uh, this is awesome. This is probably my best night of racing ever. And I um, can't wait to enjoy it with my family. And uh, thank my sponsors tomorrow morning.